Folks, we're going to start. We got Ryan Day at the front. I've got Marcus Ball on the right. Day, can you just talk a little bit about the impressions of your quarterback? He took a lot of black out there. The way that he's come back in the second half of the season. And just this masterful game that he played today. Yeah. Just your thoughts on the quarterback? Yeah, I'm really proud of him. Really proud of him. You know, he's uh, he's put a lot of work in over the last few months. A lot of work into this game plan, and uh, you know, e even there was a point in the game where I thought he was playing at a high level, and, and things weren't just kind of clicking for us. But he kept pounding away, and he was pushing the guys. And his leadership has always been really unbelievable. But today, it really showed. I think he's playing, you know, as good as anybody in the country right now, and, and his preparation showing. His fourth quarter is 17 for 17, uh, just down the stretch. You know, great quarterbacks have that ability to put. He was 17 to 17? 17 to 17 in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and in third, I think 33 to 39 for the entire game. Right. right 28. Just what does that say about him here? Great quarterbacks, the leadership, being able to put the team on your back and just will them to a victory. Yeah, I don't, I don't, that's not something you can really teach. Yeah. And uh, it's been coming for a long time, and, and uh, we've all believed in him. And, and, you know, I know he's had his critics and, and things that way, but uh, I think today is just a product of all the hard work that's been put in, not only this year, but in previous years. Yeah. And Ryan, I know you got Coach Meyer preachers being humble around here. What, you as a coach, what have you, what have you brought to the table that's helped equip JT Barrett to have some special games this year? Your guys, describe your guys' relationship. I think our relationship is, is really uh, great right now. I, you know, we get along really well. I think that we complement each other really well. Uh, I'm proud to be his coach. Uh, but it's everybody. It's everybody on the offensive side doing a great job. Because, uh, you know, everybody around them is doing a great job. The protection was great tonight, I thought. You know, uh, the guys um, making a lot of plays on a perimeter. So it's a group. Ryan, when you're down by five points and there's three minutes left and JT gets the ball, what do you put your mind at and how much confidence do you have in your quarterback? Yeah, we talk about getting it started. Getting it started. And if you can get him the ball at the end of the game, uh, we got to go win it. And we talked about from when we started in the spring, we're going to have to go win a game in a two-minute drill. Uh, if you want to go play for the whole thing, just like it's happened in previous years, you have to go win in a two-minute drill. And uh, we work on that thing every week. Coach talks about it all the time. And, uh, and we actually had two drives at the end that ended up being two-minute drills. And so we were able to put it on the field. Guys made a lot of plays. Protection was great. But in the end, JT made some really great throws. This is your first year here, and I, obviously you've been in the NFL. And you, but like the way that the perspective of the quarterback changes so frequently, I mean, you see what's up between how people view JT a month ago to how they view him now. I was wondering, how has he handled that? How have you handled that? And are you surprised or even shocked at the way this is all turning out, considering where things were? Not, not shocked, no. I mean, uh, you, you can see uh, the last few weeks he's been playing at a high level. You know, whether you're throwing it on air or you're throwing it against the number one defense in the country, I mean, you can see it, good quarterback play. I think his eyes have been good, his timing's been good, he's been comfortable in the pocket. Um, and he's a threat with his legs. That's the other part that I think is really hard to defend JT is that you have to account for his feet. And so when things are rough, you know, he's getting the first couple first downs with his feet, things open up. And so we talk going into the game, he's got to beat Penn State with his mind, his feet, and with his arm. And I thought he did all those things tonight. Well, what was interesting is the fact that down the stretch there, you guys actually relied on him to sit in the pocket and throw the ball against one of the best passing defenses in the country. Right. So talk a little bit about that and that thought process. I thought his preparation was ridiculous this week. You know, I mean, uh, in the red zone, he checked to, to a play uh, that we've been working on all week, and, and he throws a ball in the back of the end zone for a touchdown. Uh, did a nice job. You know, right after the block punt, the second play, we hit that guy down the chute. Spent a ton of time on that with, with the Z and Johnny and, and, and Terry running that play and it worked out just right for us and, and he put the ball right where it needed to be. And so he was clutch tonight and he deserves all the recognition uh, that he's getting. But he also knows that it's the whole group. And so when things weren't going well against Oklahoma and in the past, like we said, it's it's not just one person. Uh, and, and the same thing tonight. It's not just JT. It's the whole group. It's the offensive line, the wide receivers, the tight ends. Marcus makes a great play and the running backs as well. Ryan, what were you able to talk about him packing and nobody else did? I'm just curious. Do you see yeah, I mean, one of the biggest things we try to talk about is, you know, to play with emotion, don't let emotion play with you. And, and that's when things are going good, but also when things aren't going so well. And the easy thing to do is kind of let emotion get the better of you when things weren't going well and then press. Um, and I thought we did a nice job, uh, you know, Kevin and I really get, being on the same page of let's let's push this thing. And coach talked to us going into the game, let this thing go, don't play it close to the vest. And so uh, and so we didn't. And, and when things weren't going well, we kept pushing the thing down the field, and, and it showed in the end because once he got himself into a rhythm, 
I thought you know that was a big, big, really big part of the game. Hey Ron, one of the main things.